Hello world, Noah here. So today is April Fool's Day, and I don't have an April Fool's video for you this year, but I do have a classic programming joke that I'd like to tell you. So the joke goes like this. Why do programmers confuse Halloween and Christmas? You ready for the answer? Because oct31 equals des25. <laughs> Now, if you were laughing along with that totally real crowd, you can probably stop watching this video. But if you're as confused as the programmers in this joke, allow me to explain uh, what exactly this joke is uh, saying, what it means. Um, so first of all, it has to do, obviously the oct and des have a uh, double meaning, right? Um, on the one hand, they mean oct 31, like October 31st, which is when Halloween is, and um, des 25 is December 25th, which is when Christmas is, I think, uh, I think everyone knows that. But the other meaning may be a little bit less clear. And the other meaning that they have is that oct means octal, and des means decimal. Now you've probably heard of decimal before, but you may not have heard of octal. And so let's talk about those now to explain the joke. So decimal is the base 10 number system. This is the number system that you and I use when we um, you know, count and, and uh, use numbers in our lives. Let me write this a little bit bigger. Okay, so the decimal number system is a system that we use, right? And when we say a decimal number system, another way that you can think about this is as a base 10 number system. And you may not have thought about this uh, you know, explicitly, but you understand it implicitly. That for example, if I have the number one, two, three, all right, the, these digits, the one, the two, and the three have different values, right? The one in this case is not actually a one, it's a 100. And the two in this case is actually a two, it's a 20, right? And so if we look at this, the way that we can, um, the way that we can uh, do this is that we multiply each number by its uh, place value, right? And so the place value for the three is in the ones place. So this is the, um, the digit, let me uh, try to write this a little bit better. So this is the digit. And I'll, I'll draw a nicer looking table in a second, but this is the digit and then this is the, uh, the place value, right? Place value. So the three is in the ones place, the two is in the tens place, and the one is in the 100s place, right? And so if you want to um, find the actual value of this number, you can do one times 100 plus two times 10 plus three times one, right? That's how you would calculate the actual value. And of course you'll get 123. And so this formula of multiplying each number by its place value is basically how you can you know, create large numbers because in the decimal number system, our digits go from zero to nine, right? And so if we wanna represent 10, we need to have you know, 10 or anything bigger than that. We need to have these place values so that we can assign a larger value to the regular digits, you know, just the 10 digits um, that we have. And so, uh, one other thing that you may notice is that all of these place values are powers of 10, right? One is 10 to the zero, 10 is 10 to the one, and 100 is 10 squared. So when we have a base number system, or a base 10 number system, then all of the place values are powers of 10. And you start from 10 to the zero, 10 to the one, 10 squared, cubed, et cetera, et cetera, and you make really big numbers, and they're all just powers of 10. And so what we had before in this joke, um, part of the joke was des 25, so decimal 25. And so we can draw a table, and it's gonna be a very small table in this case, um, but it would basically look like this. So we have 25, right, these are the digits, and then this would be where the place values are. And so the two is in 10 to the one, which is just 10, and the five is in 10 to the zero, which is one. And so to calculate this, we would do two times 10 to the one plus five times 10 to the zero, which is just two times 10 plus five times one, which is a value of 25. 
Now, base 10 isn't the only number system that exists. It's the one that we use in our everyday, but there are other number systems that we can use. And you've probably heard of some of them. Binary is the base two number system, so it's made up of zeros and ones, and all of the place values are powers of two. There's also hexadecimal, that's zero through nine and A through F, so there's 16 possible values. You may have seen this used, um, you know, it's commonly used for colors if you work with CSS, HTML, or I guess anywhere that, that um, web colors are used. Um, and there's other uses for, uh, for hexadecimal as well. Um, those are fairly common. And then one that is not as common, but um, still has its uses in some places, is the octal number system. And the octal number system, as you might guess by its name, is the base eight number system. Base eight. Right? And so the base eight number system means that this, um, that all of the place values are powers of eight. And because it's a base eight number system, it means that the digits are from zero to seven. Right? And so what that means is that there is no digit eight in octal. Right? If you want to represent it, uh, eight in octal, it would be one zero or I guess 10 in, in decimal, if you want to think about it like that. And I'll do an example in just a second to make that more clear. Um, but it's the same way that there's no digit for, no single digit for the number 10 in decimal. You have to use two digits to represent it, right? And so that's how octal works. And now, basically, you can make the same chart that we made before, the same table, I should say, that we made before. But this time, the place values are going to be powers of 8 instead of powers of 10 because we're working with the octal uh, number system. And so here would be 8 to the 0. This would be 8 to the 1. And if you wanted to go on, you know, you'd have 8 squared and 8 cubed, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera but we're not interested in those. We're just interested in the numbers that we have. And now over here, we had oct 31, right? Octal 31. And so let's see if we put 31 in here, what will happen? Well, if we want to calculate the value of this number in decimal, right? We know it's 31 in octal, right? And we can write that as 31 and then put this little subscript eight. That means 31 in base eight or 31 in octal. We want to know what is this equal to in base 10. And so to do this, we do the same conversion that we did before. We multiply each value or each um, each uh, digit by its place value. And so we would do 3 times 8 to the 1 plus 1 times 8 to the 0. And this is just equal to 3 times 8 plus 1 times 1. And so this is equal to 24 plus 1, which is equal to 25. And so as you can see, 31 in octal is 25 in decimal. And so now to go back to the joke, um, we have oct 31 equals dec 25. Well, 31 in octal is equal to decimal or 25 in decimal, right? And of course, Halloween is on October 31st and, um, and Christmas is on December 27th, not 25th, excuse me. And so that's the joke, right? The joke is that... Um, that if you sort of write the dates for Halloween and Christmas in this um, in this way, and you treat the, the oct and des as if they're octal and decimal, then these two numbers um, just so happen to be equal to each other. And so I guess it's kind of a coincidence that oct 31 and des 25 happen to correspond to um, the dates of well-known holidays, but um, yeah, that's basically the joke. So uh, maybe it's not quite as funny um, once it's explained in such detail. Um, but hey, you can share this joke with your math and computer science programming friends and uh, maybe they'll get it or maybe you can explain it to them. But it is a good way to sort of demonstrate how these, um, these base conversions work. Um, you know, it's, I guess, sort of a practical example or maybe a funny example. Um, but that's about it uh, for this video. Hopefully, um, this sort of base conversion stuff makes sense um, if you haven't seen it before. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.